Okay, now that we have a basic understanding of what we're working with, let's build a quick chart. There are many ways to add a chart to our canvas or a page. Uh, one of the ways to do this is to click on insert and say new visual and you will see a new visual pop in. Uh, you can always delete this visual by hitting delete key on your keyboard or clicking on the top right three dots. Three dots in Power BI always means that there is more options so it's some sort of menu option so you could click on remove. Uh, you could pick the chart that you would like to use to tell your story uh, of the list. So in this case, let's say I'm going to click on a table and again, uh, the table will be dropped in our canvas. I'm going to delete that. Or if you have an attribute or a measure that you would like to start with telling your story, you could just go ahead and click on that measure um, and drag, uh, click on the table and drag the, the attribute or measure right on the canvas. So in this case, let's say I want to start talking about my companies. I'm going to drag the company on a canvas, let go, and Power BI will build the chart that it thinks tells the better story about this particular uh, attribute. This is where the icons next to our attributes help us understand what kind of chart Power BI thinks uh, will, will tell a better story. So if I delete this table and instead I'm going to bring a country, you will see that Power BI will say, huh, that looks like a geography. Why don't I start with the map? Okay, so in our case, I'm going to delete this and we are going to start with a table, which uh, you have, if you have done Excel or PowerPoint, is often the very first um, chart we ever create. So why don't we start with that as well? The best way to follow along is to just pause the video um, as you listen to and watch me do these things. So pause the video. Um, uh, follow the instructions on your version of the desktop and then when you're done uh, unpause the video and listen to the next couple sentences and uh, pause it again and follow the instructions again. So right now we don't have much going on. We only have a list of all of the customers or companies that we have conducted business with. You can also see that this list is sorted in a default order. Uh, in Power BI we have some ability to uh, create custom orders for attributes uh, in this particular case because it's just a string so everything is just sorted alphabetically. This chart is not particularly informative. Why don't we ask um, uh, additional questions for example show me the overall revenue by customer. In order for me to do that I'm gonna drill into my metrics folder and now I could do several things because my chart is selected I could just click on the checkbox next to the measure that will add uh, a measure to the chart. In order to delete the chart, uh, the um, chart element or chart measure or attribute, uh, we could just click on the X. This will delete it. The other way to do this is you could drag and drop. The order in which you drag and drop the measures and attributes is important. So you can also see a, a, a yellow line that indicates where in the order this measure will, will go in. So if I drop it here, it'll be below, which means left to right, it'll be to the right of the top most measure. If I drag it above, it'll be on the left. Normally what we do is we would put it on the right. And now let's take a look at what kind of things we could do with this chart. By just looking at this chart, uh, this is not really telling us a story. Right now it just says that we have a bunch of customers with some revenues books booked against them. Uh, because the companies are sorted alphabetically, again, we cannot gain any insight from that. So the most, the basic insight we can uh, improve from this chart is by clicking on my revenue, which will sort it uh, in a descending order. And right away we see that Big Box Spenders Inc. is our top customer. What else can we do with this chart? Well, we can click on the second or middle uh, kind of menu uh, button to the top of the chart that says focus mode and when we do this our chart will explode and occupy the entire page. That's useful when you have a lot of charts. Sometimes our reports are very busy and um, it's hard to see things so by clicking on the focus mode we can zero in on this particular chart at the time. 
If you've done any PowerPoint storytelling, you know that you can do all the PowerPoint things. For example, you can move the chart around. You just uh, left click and hold and you can move it around. You can resize it. Right, and once you have uh, more chart, you could place one chart on, on top of the other. The other thing we uh, we can we know we can do in PowerPoint is um, we can change colors and fonts and sizes of chart elements. Right now, uh, I don't have the chart selected, so I do not see anything in this area here. None of the options for customizations. Uh, if I do click on the chart, you will see that now. Uh, the chart setup. So let's think of this icon as chart setup, which basically says which measures and attributes come into play to in this chart. If I want to modify the look and feel of it, I click on the format option, and now um, uh, I'm uh, I'm able to pick certain things to 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 change the look and feel of this chart. We will talk more about um, different qualities that uh, tables have and what could be customized in a table. For now, let's just change something really simple. For example, we can go into values and we can change, for example, the font and we can make it, um, for example, this this color, right? Um, and we can also change the alternate color. All right now we have a colorful chart and uh, this is the first chart that we've created in Power BI. Congratulations.